Tēnā rā tātou te whare. Uh, the House has resumed. Uh, before the dinner break, uh, we were debating the first reading of the Local Electoral Matters Bill. Lawrence Yule had the call, and he has two minutes, 21 seconds remaining. I call Lawrence Yule. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Uh, as I was saying before the dinner break, uh, for those that weren't here, this is actually an evolutionary process of change. To go from polling booth type voting to postal voting and now to include electronic voting in the mix. Um, and as I previously said, uh, international evidence would suggest it won't dramatically change voter turnout, but what it will do is allow particularly young people an access system that's available to help them vote. And also, I expect there will be further significant changes to the postal system, so that in 20 years, I imagine that postal voting will be dr dramatically different to what it is now. That being said, um, there are some future issues that I encourage members of the government parties to look at. One of them is the mixed type arrangement of voting systems at local government elections. So there can be a different type of voting system for a hospital board, a different type of voting system for a council, a different type of voting system for a local board or a community board. Um, often alcohol licensing authorities, trusts, and actually when people get their voting packs it is so confusing for most people that they don't even know half the people or what to vote for. So I would encourage the government to look at that as a future work programme aligned to this bill. Because in my view there is way too much information, there is actually too many choices to be made and people either are disengaged by that or simply don't vote appropriately with the power they've been given. And for me, that often means that people either don't vote or those that have a high profile uh, get chosen because people can't be bothered reading all the material. And when you get a pack in your voting thing that's this thick, it is completely off-putting. So to members of the government um, and for members of the select committee, while it might be outside the brief, it is my view that if we want to encourage participation in local government elections, we actually need to make it as easy as possible and as less complicated as it possibly can. And I encourage the government to look at those changes through the select committee stage. Thank you, Mr Chairman. I call Raymond Wall. Having uh, listened to the